most of what makes a book good is that we are reading it at the right moment for us. The moment we cry in a film is not when things are sad, but when they turn out to be more beautiful than we expected them to be. When Proust urges us to evaluate the world properly, he repeatedly reminds us of the value of modest scenes. Intimacy is the capacity to be rather weird with someone and finding that that's okay with them. One of the best protections against disappointment is to have a lot going on. We are all more intelligent than we are capable and awareness of the insanity of love has never saved anyone from the disease. To one's enemies, I hate myself more than you ever could. Not being understood may be taken as a sign that there is much in one to understand. There is no such thing as work-life balance. Everything worth fighting for unbalances your life. People only get really interesting when they start to rattle the bars of their cages. You normally have to be bashed about a bit by life to see the point of daffodils sunsets, and uneventful nice days. Never too late to learn some embarrassingly basic, stupidly obvious things about oneself. The difference between hope and despair is a different way of telling stories from the same facts. Anyone who isn't embarrassed of who they were last year, probably isn't learning enough. The pleasure we derive from journeys is perhaps dependent more on the mindset with which we travel than on the destination we travel to. Everyone returns us to a different sense of ourselves for we become a little of who they think we are. The only people we can think of as normal are those we don't yet know very well. Feeling lost, crazy, and desperate belongs to a good life as much as optimism, certainty, and reason. We don't really learn anything properly until there is a problem, until we are in pain, until something fails to go as we had hoped. We suffer, therefore we think. There's a whole category of people who miss out by not allowing themselves to be weird enough. It is perhaps when our lives are at their most problematic that we are likely to be most receptive to beautiful things. You have to be quite heavily invested in someone to do them the honor of telling them you're annoyed with them. Forgiveness requires a sense that bad behavior is a sign of suffering rather than malice. Good sex isn't just fun. It keeps us sane and happy. Having sex with someone makes us feel wanted, alive and potent. 
there may be significant things to learn about people by looking at what annoys them most.